firefly base close by. Be careful and stick together. All right. Hello everyone. T the strategist here with another gameplay video. This time we're running the smoke rifle on the dam. My favorite map, as I'm sure I've mentioned before. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go to one of my favorite spots right here. This little. Uh, ooh, just missed. There we go. Headshot. Yeah, that guy downed uh, my teammate here, and uh, I think he got confident. Oop, another guy. Yeah, I just took that, so you're going to be like, oh, what the hell, strategist? Uh, yeah, I just played a previous match with these guys, and I'm telling you, they are a bunch of execution-stealing jackals. So I am going to take every execution I can, and I probably still won't end up with the same number of downs. All right. We are rolling over these guys right now. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, um, that guy who downed my teammate, uh, sometimes when, when uh, someone downs someone, they get kind of excited. I saw he like started running down the hill there. Um, yeah, when someone gets down or they make a great play, sometimes they get a little excited and it, it causes them to make a poor decision immediately afterwards. Um, and I am guilty of that as well sometimes. You just get like, you get, oh, one sec. Yeah, I know. The dirtiest of dirty shivs right there. Don't hate me. Um, but yeah. That's one reason why I love this uh, loadout. Let's see. They spawned over here. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, nice. Traded headshots. As you saw, my teammate had already executed the guy <laughs> quickly thereafter. Yeah, so when you make a great play... Try not to follow it up with uh, getting a little too excited about things. Oh, hello. Yeah, no. Uncon Rage quit. Conventional. Oh. And he left. Let's say the unconventional hunting rifle two punch combo. <laughs> you know, whatever works up close. All right, we got an assist there. I wanted to fall back there to heal really quick. Because I only had half my health. There's still one more over here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, what'd I tell you? <laughs> See, aren't you glad I stole those executions earlier? <laughs> they do not care. But you know what, if if you're playing in a party, I would highly suggest Let's that go. you do steal each other's executions. I mean, not necessarily steal, but work it out ahead of time. When you take someone else's execution, and if they take yours, then you guys both get ammo uh, for that execution and parts as well, which is great. So definitely do that. Oh yeah, and just these guys have no idea I'm here. Oh jeez. Oh yes. Upgraded revolver is a very nice sidearm indeed. Wow. I just realized it is 20 to 6. This is a fast one. We're only uh, not even four minutes into it yet. All right. I was thinking about going up there and taking a peek, but don't even need to. Pretty sure they're up there with uh, where my teammates are. Oh, there we go. Got one coming. There he is. Oh. Pack. That was... A very poor decision on my part. See? I got excited. Got overconfident. Got excited. Thought I could just quickly throw the smoke. I should have waited for him. Should have let him commit towards me a little bit more. But it's alright. It's only one. Nice job by 
this guy right here to get to cover. Yeah, if you're down, don't just sit there and stay there. Try to get to cover or try to at least make your opponents miss shots, waste some of their ammo, get focused on you while hopefully uh, one of your teammates takes them out and then picks you up. Great little spot right there. I don't even know why I'm still picking up these blue canisters, but I am. <laughs> it's just habit. I kind of like the sound it makes. Yeah, and if you can see how I'm kind of leaning against it, this spot is great because you can. I look over that that top part of that divider there now, so I can look to the left. It's really good coverage on this map. I can see people uh, way far away. I can also see them hitting this box. Okay, that guy, I think he didn't see me. Oh, yeah. One down. Poor dude. That no chance. Dead. I mean, I'm not running cover or anything. Yeah, this is the, the smoke rifle loadout that I'm still rocking and still loving so much. Oh, hello. Down. And my teammate shivved to the other guy on the left there. Perfect. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a bit of a steamroll here. You are these wow, left. nineteen to three. I mean, the uh, one guy did rage quit. He has no idea. You're I'm just not even gonna waste the molly. Turn around, see if this guy can come up. Oh, he dropped a bomb. I'm trying to activate it. Oh no. So I threw the molly there because I tried to activate the bomb that he just dropped. If you time it right, it works great. Dodge that. See if I can get a quick shot off. Nope. I was going to try to either get a combo there, but once I missed the first, decided just to stick with the revolver. Which, as you can see, once fully upgraded, is a pretty damn good weapon. Oh, I'm just going to run right into this. <laughs> My gosh, this was quick. 11-9-1. That was a quick one. Alright, that was an insanely fast match, so I'm going to give you guys a little bonus tip here about one-use boosters. Uh, there's a way of helping generate one-use boosters at a faster rate, and it basically involves uh, intentionally letting your population decrease uh, by choosing, like as you see here on the left, a mission that you have no intention of completing. Uh, I think the scope full auto rifle is probably the worst gun in the game. Therefore, I choose it. I will never use it. And my population will automatically go down 40% after the third day. And thus, by doing so, the next time I play and I do well, uh, my population has a better chance of increasing at a higher number and therefore getting more one-use boosters uh, because I suddenly have way more parts than after my population was decreased by 40%. Um, yeah, because after you complete the Hunter campaign and the Firefly campaign, there's really no reason to keep uh, your population at a high level. So hopefully this was useful, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.